Hello, I'm Valentin Mandacci from Historic Houses Romania, Casa de Epoca, and today I'd like to present you a very interesting case of overlapping um, architectural styles or periods, dictatorial periods of Romania in a building. You notice probably that I like the architecture, I like to study the architecture of dictatorships. What we have behind us is um, uh, the National Radio Society building, uh, Radio Romania Society building, a concert hall and also the broadcasting station is based over here. A building which is in uh, Italian Mussolinian style, so fascist design, which was built in 1952. Uh, so the plans date from the interim period, late 1930s, and put up in the uh, middle of the Stalinist period, of the communist, early communist dictatorship of Romania. Uh, Romania had a long row of dictatorships from the mid-1930s with a uh, royal dictatorship and the single party and the King Carol II, we call it the Carlist dictatorship, followed by the uh, fascist military one of the late 1930s and wartime period and then we had a small democratic intermezzo between 1944 when the king uh, managed to uh, switch the sides from the Nazis to the Allies and arrest the local uh, fascist dictator up until late 19, uh, December 1947 when Stalin forced the king to abdicate and install the Stalinism in uh, this land. And it looks like the dictatorships are happy with each other. Both of them were triumphalist, both of them were having messianic uh, messages and uh, you know, adopting motives from one another. Even in Ceausescu's time, the harshest period for Romanian dictatorships in the 1980s, Ceausescu borrowed a lot from uh, the fascists and also from the Carol II uh, royal dictatorship. So this one was put up in the Stalinist time, 1952. The project is fascist and they are very happy with each other. And in fact, many architects from the fascist times got excellent employment into the Stalinist time. The best case is Horia Maiku, his original name, Harry, Gorst Harry Gorstein, who was the main architect of the Stalinist period. But in this instance, we have the Ricci brothers, the Italian origin, Garcia, Spanish origin, and Bernal, French origin, both of them, both, all of them, sorry, uh, Romanian, went native, and provide your second generation uh, immigrants. Uh, from the time on Bucharest was a very cosmopolitan place. An interesting building, uh, very good quality. Mussolini did good, uh, Mussolini's, um, Mussolini times they had good quality buildings in Italy and over here, those fashion. And it has one of the best concert halls of Bucharest with a very large organ. Um, I have an experience of it actually, I had a few interviews there and also during the anti-communist revolution of 1989, in December 1989. This was one of the strongholds of the revolutionaries. So I came over here and I did, uh, spoke some, uh, broadcasting some communiques of uh, my students, fellow students. I was a student leader of the University of Bucharest. And in that time I was surrounded by tanks, people were shooting all over the places. This building was marked with uh, bullet marks and the buildings around it too. So I have an experience of it and <laughs> interesting memories, history in the making. So I hope you liked this video and we'll see each other next time on the next podcast. Thank you and goodbye.